Yo, yo. Welcome back to Ballhead and Metal, guys. My name is Joseph. Today, let's do a reaction to another Epica song. This time, it's to the song Unleash, the official live version of this song. And I have been enjoying what I've been hearing from Epica and kind of pulling some songs apart, but I haven't. Welcome back to Ballhead and Metal, guys. My name is Joseph. Today, let's react to Epica, the song Unleashed official live version now it's my third song that i've been listening to this band and i've enjoyed what i've heard so far but i i don't think i've gotten the reaction that you guys expected me to get through a couple of the songs so you guys have been suggesting various styles and various songs for me to check out really to dive deep into this band and really understand what they're all about i've really enjoyed her vocals i've enjoyed the rougher uh harsher vocals from the front man of the band uh not to mention the all the um, uh, more kind of thrashier or more more hard sound that this band has in comparison to somebody like Nightwish. Anywho, let's get right into it. Let's see what we got. Keep a moment mind. See what happens. And for the evening, this is Amish. Orchestra. Awesome. I'm a sucker for this. Yeah, this has to be an epic song then. Like a pirate shanty? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. He's in the middle of them. I have a feeling this is going to be my favorite song from them. So far, great beginning. Uh, great beginning. I love when they bring extra elements uh, that fit the music. I didn't like when Metallica brought in the orchestra. I never liked that album. But here, it just matches so perfectly, as well as her kind of uh, what soprano, so her soprano voice kind of shining through here and leading them, and her sing along with them, along with everything going on. I'm really enjoying that sound so far. Another thing that you hear here, uh, what we hear, is uh, her range in voice. I think in, in a cosine of oblivion and the essence of silence, uh, I, she mostly kind of stayed on the, I think, on the upper echelon. And here we get to see a little bit more breadth of her skill, which I know was there. Like I didn't, I didn't need, but it's not now. I'm able to hear it, uh, and it's really adding quite nice texture to the song. Not to mention the keyboard says keyboard says hair here before he shaved it off I guess
for sure this is my favorite song and it's mostly due to her voice i love what she's doing with her voice here guys tell me if the orchestral part was written by the band or they gave some guidance on how did how does it go because i know in some bands like septic flesh he he knows how to write it or haggard they know they actually write the orchestral music and all the instruments and in some other bands it's more of um they know what they want and they hire somebody to do it for them Yeah, I've always liked these orchestral parts uh, in songs and kind of epic compositions. Uh, I always mention Iced Earth. Uh, they have some nice songs, I think, that also incorporate, especially in horror show and um, uh, Something Wicked This Way Comes. They like to do that. But I definitely uh, so far enjoying what I'm hearing here. I had another thought. Perhaps it's going to come back to me. <laughs> That's nice, the chorus, the drums. I remember what I wanted to say is I enjoy sometimes, despite it, like I've said in my other reactions, I like moshing, I like jumping into mosh pits and going crazy. It's such a nice vibe when you go to a symphonic or a power metal band, which typically there's not a lot of moshing, if any. And that, that kind of camaraderie that you get when you're headbanging all together. Something like Aelstorm was so much fun uh, because we would like put our arms around strangers' shoulders and just headbang together. Or people like wave beer left and right, feeling like it's like, you know, like some pirate shanty or something like that. Uh, it was really, really cool. And that's the one thing about the concerts I've always loved and miss is the it's a place where people of like minded music like minded views and the enjoyment of music come together and just forget everything and just have so much fun together. Another band I've had a lot of fun with was um Eluvieti. They're really fun uh seeing them live. She's a nice song voice. And a little history, you guys. I'm going to give a little shout out here. Uh, when I released my Essence of Silence reaction, one of the comments that I got is actually a friend from high school. Uh, and it reminded me of a whole story. He was the biggest Epica fan. I mean, like when they, I, I believe it was the beginning years of Epica. And he was a huge fan of them already at that point. He was like, a, we were a couple of metalheads in school. I mean, there was maybe like five or six of us. And so we always shared music with one another and that's where perhaps i first crossed paths with epica but definitely i did not check them out at that time because i was all into like system of the down slayer and all that really really heavy stuff and just did not have patience as a kid uh to get into anything like that 
but he's always been a, a hardcore fan and he actually sent me a comment uh down below when he interacted it was nice to reconnect so shout out to you eddie man have a good one That girl's in the mood. She's really in there. Yeah, I really like that the, the buildup of keyboards, orchestra, uh, the choir, and her very gentle, soft voice, which she switches throughout the song. But that soft, soft gentle voice, it just kind of gives this, I don't know, epic is not the word in this particular. It's just kind of a sense of emotion and vulnerability. There's, like, there's something in it that just kind of really captured me and kind of I've enjoyed this song definitely the most out of all the ones I've heard from Epic. I'll even say something, I know it's gonna be blasphemous for all the Nightwish fans on my channel, is I enjoy her voice more than Tarja's and, or Tarja's, sorry, and uh, Floor Jansen's voice, personally. I think they're, in terms of skill, they're about the same, all the, these three women, they're about the same, but I prefer her voice. I, I enjoy her, her playfulness and her voice and this kind of very gentle kind of uh, sound that she has in this kind of an epic metal band. That was awesome. I, like I said, this this is my favorite for sure. Um, you know what it is? What is in the water in the Netherlands, in Finland, in Norway, Sweden? What is in the water there? Because it seems like, uh, for the most part, when it comes to power metal, when it comes to symphonic metal, and when it comes to many melodic death metal bands and even death metal bands, they just kind of have the market locked down and so many legendary bands have come through those countries. Uh, I'm a little bit jelly because Russia is very weak when it comes to the metal scene. And uh, New York, we have a couple. We have Overkill, Anthrax, you know, Kiss, which is rock. But, you know, uh, metal, of course, in the United States is known for its areas. But it's just, there's just uh, such an outpouring of heavy metal from Europe in, overall and obviously south america but anywho guys hopefully you enjoyed this reaction i enjoyed the song i loved it um i'm definitely gonna be checking out more from epica i was gonna do kingdom of heaven it's just i did not have time i i, I have i'm very strict on time this week because i didn't do any reactions over uh the, i didn't re re record anything over the weekend which why i didn't post anything on monday uh so hopefully you guys bear with me here enjoy the rest of your day guys and keep it metal